Mary was a scientist and a journalist, huge range of knowledge and a fantastic ability to share that knowledge. Part of the criteria of the award is that ability to tell stories about science knowledge or their, somebody's experience of um, science. So we're looking for the information, the interest, the creative aspect. Mary would have loved it. She was always extremely supportive of young people, particularly in science journalism. She tried to help people in their careers as much as she could. She was a pioneer of science journalism in Ireland and she always did her best to, to assist and help uh, other people, particularly young people, trying to get involved in science journalism. My piece is about storytelling, so in a lot of Mary's work she did a lot of storytelling, um, so she would showcase uh, a scientist and talk about not just their science but the story behind them, so I felt like that was, it's a way to engage a younger audience because they're the scientists of the future. It acknowledges that science isn't just for, you know, you're not just in the lab just toiling away on your own, it's about talking to people and bringing the science into people's lives and encouraging people to engage and realise that science is going to affect them. So you know, everyone can participate um, and everyone can appreciate and love science no matter who you are. Science can be quite scary and intimidating, it seems like it's such a high bar, but actually if you tell science the right way, if you tell the story the right way, it can really come across to a younger audience, it can engage people outside the field. The bar shouldn't be in anything other than the fact that you have a passion for it and interest in it. Science is for everybody. There are three main activities to the work of the association. First is the award, our flagship programme, which is now in its third year. We also are seeking to republish her publication in Genius Ireland. And we also recently have signed an agreement with Dublin City University to house an archive for Mary's work. So our aim is to make sure that the legacy of her work is passed on for future generations. There was never a time when science communication was more important really, you know, for clarity in science communication, for, you know, accessibility, for plain English. Um, just to ensure that the entire world hears the truth as opposed to, you know, the people hanging around at their ivory towers debating science and technology. I think one of the main messages is that, that Ireland punches above its weight internationally in, in science. Uh, we want to encourage young people into science and support them. Um, in, their, in their future careers. But the, main, the main thing is to get people young and get them interested in science. If we can achieve that, then I think we'll have done a good job. Mm -hmm.